Oh my god. I already bought the Toe Chain extension scam. Whatever. Anyways, hello everybody. I'm Gamester909. Back with more of Disney Infinity. Today, I am back with the Cars playset. And yeah, I actually uh, placed down some power discs. And what one of the uh, power disc combos is actually a turbocharge. Which, you know, they, it's nice of them to actually make some power disc combos that actually affect vehicles and are therefore useful for the Cars playset. That's really nice. Anyways, as I said, I'm back here in the Cars playset. Previously, we took care of most, if not all, of the missions for the playset. And now that's really left is uh, a couple more gold stars, including collecting all the capsules, along with doing all of the challenges for the playset. So yeah, there are, the, there are quite a few capsules around here we still need to collect. And today I am playing as Holly Shiftwell from Cars 2, one of the uh, Chrome secret agents in the movie. And she is the other character, or she's, yeah, she's uh, a char the character alongside Lightning McQueen that are both featured in the Cars playset pack, which comes with the playset piece. So yeah, um, I'll probably just get this out of the way. Holly Shiftwell is probably my least played as Disney Infinity character. In fact, like, on my original personal uh, save file for this game, by the way, we got 10, there's a texture for the buildings, I believe I only leveled her up to, like, level 3 or 4. I never got a silver trophy with her, or no, or trophy, statue. I never got a sil silver statue with her at all. At least I don't think. Anyways, got pl Pink Flamingo 1, which is now available in the toy box. Let's see. Oh, couldn't reach that one. Or that one. Of course. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we got some wheels. And a surfboard. And shiny wood trim. I bought all the tow cables, right? I did. What the heck, game? Why did it even say that one voice line earlier? I think the narrator's just glitched in this place. Uh, that's really weird. Anyways. We got pink camo over here. Funny thing is, I do remember the narrator being glitched in this playset, so it's not really anything new. It's just something that still kind of bothers me to this day. Alright. See if we can reach this one. Come on. No? Okay. Whoops. Alright. The Sandbag Barricade. Which is now available in the toy box. So yeah, I didn't really play as really any of the Cars characters that often. Um, at least in, you know, 1.0 and 2.0 edition. I would play to them a bit more in 3.0 edition, as there would be a lot more racing aspects in that game. So I did actually level... That's actually how I leveled up Lightning McQueen and made her at least. Oh, we got the Gold Piston Cup. Which, unfortunately, that is not available in the toy box. Of course it isn't. You know, one of the most iconic parts of the Cars franchise is just not available in the toy box mode. That's ridiculous, Avalanche. should be ashamed of yourselves. I understand that it's, a, it's actually a customization for the tourist cars. But still, come on, they should have had the Piston Cup be something you place down as like a decoration. But, whatever. <sighs> we'll say these capsules are definitely in interesting places. We got the Mater Trim. Let's see if grinding helps. It did for that one. We got the Gas Hat. It's like one of those drink hats you can buy. So, 
So yeah, Holly Shiftwell is pretty much, as you expect, the same in terms of uh, abilities as Lightning McQueen and Mater. We also have a chest for her over here with a Holly Shiftwell paint job. A car with a Holly Shiftwell paint job in Cars 2. So yeah, despite the fact that she could apparently fly in the, mo in the movie Cars 2, that's the only film she appeared in. I don't think she made a reappearance in a Cars 3 at all. I don't think Finn McMissile did either. Alright, we got a tiara. But uh, yeah, she unfortunately cannot in this game. Italian Afro. Pretty sure that's the one Guido wore in the original Cars. There we go. Sheet metal accent. Okay, so one of the gold stars requires us to collect 80 prize capsules. I, I have no idea how many there are in total. But I'm guessing it's more than that. We got the Guido at work sign, which is now available in the toy box. Okay, that's something that's in the toy box. A Guido at work sign. How specific? Anyway, it's got a capsule over here. Spiked wheels! We got the wind chime. So yeah, there are a lot of decorations in this place, and uh, all of them are individually available in the toy box, which is very interesting. This isn't really something that, you know, is in the other play sets, except for one, and we'll get to that later. You can kind of tell which teams worked on which play set, because some of them uh, share some distinctions, oddly enough. Like, the Cars play set, along with one other play set, are very similar in a lot of ways. Like the whole decorations mechanic. Like getting stuff like spare parts windmill. And a camera. Which I know that's for the tourist cars. But uh. Let's get this capsule over here. Carbon fiber trim. Holly purple trim. Sheet metal trim. Lots of trims around here. What's up with that? Wait a minute. There we go. Fill more wall. So now we can put it on any building if we want. There we go. Aqua stucco. And camouflage. That's pretty useful. Especially since, spoiler alert, you can actually decorate bu the buildings in the toy box mode, you can kind of mix and match between the different textures you unlock in the different play sets. Which is pretty cool to kind of see them all, um, you know, in one place. You could have, like, oh, you could have an accent or trim specifically from the Cars play set mixed with walls from, say, the Incredibles play set. It's really cool. And that's something I don't think is in the, any of the other Disney Infinity games, oddly enough. Or at least not to the scale that this game uh, presents. Which is kind of unfortunate. I never really found Holly Shiftwell that interesting of a character. She was just, I guess, just kind of there. Because I guess they needed multiple spy characters in Cars 2. Um, I never even owned a die cast of her. Oh, come on. Alright. Maybe the monster tires can help with this. We'll get in that capsule. To be fair, I... To be fair, I barely collected any of die casts for Cars by the time uh, Cars 2 came out. We should probably talk about that. For the original Cars, uh, I pretty much collected the uh, die cast Cars that they would release for the film. Pretty much from 2006 to I think around 2008 or 9, they were released. They were released hundreds of different uh, die casts based on the Cars movie. I forget exactly who, like, what company produced them. 
Um, it might have been Mattel, actually. I don't exactly remember, because it was, it was a long time ago, to be fair. Okay, these monster tires are not helping. Wait a minute. Toys available. You got the right idea, game. Thank you. We could use the towable ramp for something like this, which is something that's available in the toy store. I'll give it one last go, and then I'll probably try that. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay. Alright, check this out. Tow this toy to any location to help you get to new heights for 500 coins. There we go. It's also available in the toy box, which is really cool. I don't know why you would want it in the toy box mode, but hey, it's there. It's pretty similar to the, uh, the, the Roaring Ramp in the Monsters University playset, which I don't think that's available in the toy box. Alright. Ah, dang it. Alright, time for the Tobo Ramp to help us out here. There it is. You can let go of... Okay, no, we have no choice but to throw it. Never mind. I thought we could, like, drop it to be more precise with uh, where we put it. But nope. Of course not. We're gonna have to let Lady Luck um, figure this out. I think, right? Is there a way I could simply let it go? Okay, yes! It's by turning around, of all things. Also the camera equipped through radiator cap. Interesting. Alright, I guess that's how we're gonna do this. Perfect. Alright. Now that I know how to precisely do it, why don't we try to get this capsule over here? Like this. Look at that! That's perfect. I don't know if these monster tires are going to help us very much here, but we got it! Holly's Wall! Alright. And how about this one over here? Looks pretty good to me. Uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe it's a little too close. How about right here? Maybe? We'll try that. Although it might be a little too angled, maybe? Oh! Yep. It still might be too close, though, now that I think about it. Uh... Maybe if we just... no. No, that doesn't work at all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to get rid of these monster tires. I'm sorry. Alright. Hopefully this will help. <sighs> Maybe. <sighs> Come on! There we go! Cars crossing sign. Cool. Alright. Oh, this should be pretty simple. Alright. So does it just stay there? Does does the game actually save the uh, point where... Oh, by the way, the Pizza Planet rocket. That's something we could put on top of uh, Toy Scars. That's kind of cool. Serve as a little reference to another Pixar film. We've got the Holly accent. That looks interesting. Alright, flower quilt accent. Uh, there's another capsule. Boom! First try. Rusty's baseball hat. T 
higher tree. Got the bow. We just barely missed that one. There's a ton over here. The sticker, or stickers. It's, I believe, a wall texture. Interesting that saying that there's, uh, missions. I'm pretty sure all that's left, though, is just alert missions, right? Because I'm pretty sure it's disappointing to someone that's out of gas. Uh, yep. Okay. I don't really know if that counts, game. Even though it'll give me some coins and some sparks, I still don't really know if it counts. Alright, let's just ignore it for now. Although we should probably go ahead and collect these green capsules as well. Like the Radiator Springs Plants Toy Pack 1. Gives us some plants for the toy box mode. We also got small wheels. There we go, we got it this time. Blue flags. Dang it. Interstate sign. Alright, stop sign. Well, of course the interstate and stop signs aren't available in the toy box mode. Stuff that would legitimately be useful for, like, a city or something you could build in there, but nope. Of course not. Or we got tank treads. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That'd be interesting to see, you know, tourist cars with friggin' tank treads. Jeez. Oh, we were just here. Alright. All right, let's start collecting the plenty full of capsules on the buildings. So there are quite a few. I think almost every building has at least one capsule. All right, like the one in the farmhouse. Boom! Flows V8 Cafe, now available in the toy box. So yeah, some of these green capsules contain buildings that are no, available uh, from the start of the playset, like the V8 Cafe, the Casa de la Tires, and Mater's Impound Lot. There's one inside uh, Film Wars. Radiator Springs Plants Toy Pack 2. We also got Radiator Springs Decoration Toy Pack 2. We got Tow Meter Impound Lot. Very nice, very nice. Okay, there is one in a, here. Radiator Springs Decoration Toy Pack 1. Yo, check out. Oh, shoot. Check out this low res uh, movie art. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's another reason why it can also be pretty difficult to uh, adjust the camera in the car's place. Is that if you have any, like, turbo gauges filled, pretty much flicking the right stick to move the camera if you want to, will sometimes just end up uh, triggering a, a boost. So, yeah. Alright, let's get this capsule over here. Maybe. Maybe. You know, one of the buttons will probably help us out here. Yep. Oh, actually, that, uh... 
Or maybe. Maybe the springs will help us out. Nope. But, we might still be able to get it. Yep! Radiator Springs Critter Toy Pack. Nice. Now, is that all of them? We got the one in here. No, we did not. There's Radiator Springs Vehicle Toy Pack. Nice. There's also a capsule up there. Come on. Here we go. Tree camo. Wow, okay. Anyways. <laughs> wow. Quite the collision up here, I must say. It's crazy. Get out of here, chick. There's a uh, capsule up here. The crown! It even comes in Dynaco Blue. Can you believe that? How do you think these cars will look in Dynaco Blue? Anyways, here's a chest for Holly Shiftwell. Flo, owner of the V8 Cafe. I think we did explore this whole area. Because these seem to be places that capsules would normally be. Never mind, there's one right here. The Shingle Accent! Those crystals are quite a few capsules. Or, not capsules. Eh! Coins! God, I'm getting everything confused now. Because I've been talking about capsules for so long. I've been trying to collect all of them. And we haven't even gotten to the uh, racing hub area. I'm sure there's a ton in the stunt park. Yeah, look how many coins those give you. It's crazy. We can almost afford another thing in the toy store. And we now can. Would you look at that? And we haven't even started the challenges yet. We already have this many coins already. Because we're, we're going to need another 1,000 if we want to get everything in the toy store. Whoops. Alright. I think it gives you quite a bit of a... Uh, Turbo, turbo right there. Alright, we have a capsule over here. Mater Wall. Right here is... Oops. Huh? Oh, I'm loading this area. Okay. Pink Flamingo 2. Baseball Hat. Motor and Topiary. Ugh, great. Dang it. All right, tire tracks. Monster wheels. This time for the tourist cars. There we go. Hanging tire. Well, there's one hiding in these bushes. Grass accent. Speaking of. Did we just see one earlier? Maybe I didn't.
I don't know why these things almost look like bullets, but eh, maybe that's just what I see, for whatever reason. Anyways, let's head on over into the race hub where we'll find more capsules. And there we go. We got the gold star, Kachow customizer, and the Dynaco feather hat. Pretty cool. We have collected 80 prize capsules already. Alright, we still have yet to even touch the uh, stunt park. We have this one over here, maybe. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why the uh, collision sound effects are going to be so aggressive, jeez. It's just kind of funny. There we go. Highway walls. Almost. There we go. Corrugated walls. Wood trim. All right, blue burnout. And also, yeah, that's what the power disc combo does, is that there's a chance that your um, turbo meter will be instantly recharged. That's pretty cool. All right, I think there's another uh, Holly chest. That's one for Francesco. There's one for Holly. All right. We get Ramon! Ready for a new look? Ramones your car. Cool. Kind of unfortunate that we only get to see Ramon in his uh, normal purple look in this game. It would have been nice if we get, got to see all his different paint jobs that he has in the movies. Alright, there we go. We got starting gate lights. Nope. Alright, there's one in here. I believe this is the... Oh, it's the Radiator Springs Decoration Toy Pack 4. Okay. I don't know why there's a little minecart over there. Which, you know, uh, is just a normal minecart. It's not even, you know, what's the word? I don't know. Anyways, here at the Radiator Springs Courthouse. Sentient! That's the word I was looking for. Uh, wood planks accent. We have one in here. Checkered flags! Now available in the toy box. All right, Winter Circle, which is also available in the toy box. Oh, okay. All right, I'm guessing we're going to have to get some momentum for that one. Let's try that. Nope. All right. This calls for the towable ramp, which we can actually place wherever and whenever we want. Isn't that nice? We got the tire accent! We also got the announcer speakers. It is interesting to note that even in the toy box mode, all of these decorations that we get are breakable. Which is interesting and why I don't really use them that often in the toy box mode, actually. It's because uh, having them, you know, breakable is kind of, you know, weird, I guess. We also got Luigi's Casa de la Tires. And yellow flags. And concrete accents.
Alright. I think there are a couple more. Like, there's one in there. And is there... Okay, there is one up there. Cool. Look at that. White stucco. Are there any more up here? There are some of these. But, that's it, unfortunately. Alright, I think... There are only a couple more. Uh, there's one up there. Tire shrub! Which we just clipped straight through that rock. Weird. Anyways. Okay, there is one over there. Cool. Check this out, boys. The Radiator Springs Farmhouse! Shut up, Holly. You don't even sound like you're excited. Alright, Rusty Wall. Let's see. Oh. Cool. Oh, t dang it! It was right there, too. Alright, I got it this time. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Ugh! There we go, look at that. And up here, we're able to get the Dynaco baseball hat. And over here, low profile wheels. Whatever that means. We almost have enough to afford both of the tourist cars we could buy in the toy store. We even leveled up. Very nice. Alright, now we have enough. Very, very cool. And I don't even know how many more uh, prize caps we still... Did we get the one in the... Uh, okay, we did not get the ones on the full pipe. Alright, good to know. Because up here, we get the Radiator Springs Decorations Toy Pack 3. And in there, what do we get? Come on. There we go. Checkerboard trim. That's pretty cool. Oh, we still didn't get the one in there, of course. How could I forget? I reminded myself multiple times. <laughs> All right, check this out. Boom. Blue mailbox! Which is now available in the toy box. Therefore, it was worth the wait. And now... All right, let's buy that stuff in the toy store. Actually, there are three things. Never mind. We still need some more coins. But we're able to get the traffic truck, the traffic van, there's also the towable wrecking ball. Let's get the traffic truck up in here. Use this truck to help populate Radiator Springs. Cool. Who knows, it might even get us a new mission, although I highly doubt it. Well... That guy's still there, out of gas. There we go. <laughs> Hello there. You know what? Let's give this guy a makeover. 
Oh yeah, there's already trucks on the road now. But this guy in particular... Oh, you can actually customize the body, that's interesting. Yo, so yeah, you can also give them toppers. And that's it, just the body and the top is all you can really decorate. You can give them a piston cup, that's pretty cool. A mattress, of course, of course. The gas hat. The Dynaco feather hat. Can we? Yep! They got Dynaco blue! Perfect. Look at that, we got a true Dynaco fan in here now. Alright. 